Fifty-nine, yep. I live in the south coast of Sydney. And the south coast of Sydney, yeah. okay. I went to a neurologist, Dr. Peter Brimage, Miranda. Sorry, Dr. Peter who? Brimage. Brimage. And he, he doesn't, he's Parkinson's Plus. Parkinson's Plus. He's just a child, right? Professor Ford. Professor Ford. Professor Ford. He's a leader of neurology. Tunisia. 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 Dr. Tunisia. She came to our house called Pants and she said, I have a wrong. I have a wrong. Anyway, I wear it to him. I got it in this way. I tell you where my parents from. So someone talked me into going to Calvary Hospital in Sydney to the Paris's people, Paris's group for exercise yeah. twice a week. East to east, two of the exercises. I medicine ball, two kilos. Hold it up, bounce it. When I was bouncing in at the Castle City room, that hurts my neck. So you keep doing it, you know, things. And as a young physiotherapist, she was helping me to do it. I really saw it. my back's really sore. I was bent over. Yeah. Then the next morning, when I got out of bed, I was bent over. The only way I could straighten up was to go back to bed and lie down. I couldn't, didn't straighten up. And is that when your speech problem began? No, no. Just, just trouble. Just, just my, what? Just my walk. Oh, your problems with walking. Yeah, that was so. Uh, so you believe that throwing that heavy two kilo medicine yeah, ball caused something something caused, caused something wrong in your lower back that created your walking problems. Yeah. How long have you had to use the walking frame? The trace of March. So five months. Yeah. And what do you think about that physiotherapist who, who told you to keep doing the exercises even though they, though they hurt? Fool. He's a fool. What's the problem? You're having a bad time right now? Yeah, my vision's a bit blurry. Your vision's blurry? Your speech is blurry? Just bend to the right. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to go to the floor and look to the right. Uh, I'm sorry, what did you say? I'm going to fall to the right. I'm going to fall to the right. Okay. Yeah, go to the steps. There goes. Let me just feel your neck. I'm not going to hurt you. Does that hurt? Yes, please. Just tender, right? Yes. Let me keep doing that for a minute. Okay, now does that feel any better? Yes, it's good. It does. You're not feeling like you're going to fall to the right? Yeah, it's good. Still feels like you, but not as bad? No, no, not as bad. Alright, let me keep doing it then. You see one vertebra is turned right around. It's turned like this. 
All the other vertebra, there's a, there's a canal inside each vertebra where the central nervous system goes. And the canal is shaped like that. When one vertebra on top with that same shape turns like that, it's like twisting mm. the central nervous system. Like the, remember the Indian rope burn that kids used to do at school? Mm. That's the same as what's happening to your central nervous system with the C1 being turned right around like that. Oh, yeah, you can sit down, yeah. Do you feel as though you don't want to fall to the right as much now? Yeah, yeah Not as bad, is it? So that's sort of a little bit of proof to you that this hap this is all to do with your neck. Yeah, in two places, when I came back to Australia. You're actually talking a bit better too, isn't you? Yeah. When I came back to Australia. The infant jog. That is excellent. You're actually bouncing up off the floor while you're doing yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And you're using your arms because when people run, they they use their arms to help the that's the right. coordination. Yeah. Yeah. That's so simple. Oh, no. oh. Wow, that's good too. Feel good? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't feel giddy. Okay. <laughs> I'm real proud of you, girl. You you've done so well. <laughs> okay, that'll do you. <laughs> so you have a little chuckle and a little no grin. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs>